Hi guys and welcome making some cards with this for uh, love for you set. I want to say so much love, but it's the love for you set. Um, these are the colors we're going to be using today to make our card. Polish pink and flirty flamingo are going to be for the card, the flower portions. Um, one of the flowers, the smaller. The larger is going to be the poppy parade in real red. And then the leaves are going to be granny apple green and old olive. So those will be my color combinations for today. Let me put them over here. I kind of have a little bit of a mess going on here. All right. We're going to use for our bases. I, I'm going to try to do two, but we'll see how it goes. So I've cut granny apple green and flurry flamingo in half, eight and a half by five and a half. We'll score it at four and a fourth. And then we're going to use these for layering. We're also going to be using, let me grab a sheet of basic white and we'll be using that throughout. So let me put that over here. Um, I have out my little magnetic bowl because we will be using some dyes. All right, I think we're ready to get going here. So let me grab my cutter. First thing I'm going to do is score these at four and a fourth. Put that bump inside. Make sure it's all lined up here against these. These are raised ledges here. So if you line it up against that and then use your bone folder, you're pretty much guaranteed you're not going to have any hangs hanging over. All right. So there's that one. Let's go ahead and do this one at four and a fourth. Again, make sure that that's all lined up in there so we can get that nice and smooth. You know what? And this one, I think, let's try this one on this one. Let's go ahead and cut off an inch and a half, which will be right about there. It will have a peek through card. All right, let's go ahead. And the first one I'm going to do is just going to be uh, what I consider my basic layout. This is layout I use a lot. So I'm going to do five and a half, the whole length of the card. And I'm going to go by two. And I'm going to be putting this on the granny apple green. So then I'm going to take this and I want just a very small edge. So since that strip was two, I'm going to do two and a fourth. We're going to see how that's going to be just a really small edge, real fine edge. All right, let's put this away for now. Let me grab out my Versamark from my little acrylic drawer and let's grab that stamp set back out. Forgetting about the stamp set. So let's go ahead and we're going to make this, this is going to be for you here. So we're going to have for you as a background. All right, let me grab a block or use a little bit bigger. So let me use one of the bigger blocks. I want to line it up down here. So I have it straight and it's a little bit of a curve. So I'm just going to make sure the O and U are kind of lined up. And I'm going to, there we go. And what I'm going to do is, oh, I, that's what I was waiting for. I was going to get my piercing mat. Let's see, it's over here on my work desk. Let's go ahead and just get, we're just going to be doing it lightly. We're not really doing it so you can actually see it. We just want to have some, you know how when you're working, sometimes you just want some what's called background noise. This is going to be 
background noise. We really don't want to be able to read it. We just want something there to kind of break up all that greenness in the background. All right. And before you ever use your verse mark, make sure that your stamp is really cleaned off well. All right. So let's go ahead and let's put this off to the side to dry. Let's get, let me just put all the stamps and get out all my, here's the little ones for, I need to buy some more a blocks because this stamp set uses a lot of small, small ones. This I can go up one step. So I'll go up to this size. Then I have my leaves. So I think for my leaves, I will put them. Oh, I just saw it in here. Where'd it go? Oh, right here. So for the leaves, I am going to. Oh, they're almost too big for that. So you know what? For the small leaf, I will go ahead and put those two on. And then for this medium leaf, I'm going to try, I need to get some more A blocks. You know, you don't think you're going to use these a lot, but you do. And you don't have to have all of them mounted at one time. You can go back and forth, but I like to have them mounted. You know what? I'm going to put that up there so it doesn't rub against my blocks when it's lined up here. All right. So let's go ahead and let's start with the big flower. So we're going to be using the poppy parade as the background and I am not going to stamp it off this time. Last time I stamped it off, but I'm not going to this time. And before I do that, I do want to do the poppy parade with the for you, because that's going to be the main greeting on our card. Beautiful. All right, so now let's go ahead Oh, that's a mark on my stamp. I wanted to make sure that wasn't a piece of fuzz on my flower. I am going to stamp it off once. All right, so there's that, that the poppy parade. I don't use that color much. I got to start using it more. Put that over there. Let's take the real red. How dark is that going to be? Hmm, maybe my real red's not. All right, we'll go with it. All right. And for this, you see how there's that cut there where those leaves don't meet up? That's where that cut is there too. So it's really easy to line it up. You're just going to go right along that cut line and look at that. See how pretty now you don't know where the cut mark is here. So we're just going to turn it until it looks like it lines up. There we go. So there's that one. Smaller flower. I have a lot to clean off. Got to remember to do that before I use the verse mark again. All right. And then here we're going to draw in that fleur de flamingo. So here's the fleur de flamingo. I don't have for some reason, and I have a black mark on there. Not good. Um, for some reason, my polished pink, I don't have my inside piece on the inside and this color is retiring so I've gone two years without using it that's weird let me go ahead and take that label because I like having just for that very reason I like having that label down in this well so this way I can tell this is the polished pink oops and that's the flirty flamingo and they're open so let me make sure yeah that's clean 
So let's go Flirty Flamingo. I'm going to go full strength on that because it's a little bit of a lighter color. Oh, I had something on there. Perfect. All right. So that's it for the Flirty Flamingo. Let's go ahead and take that outline. Stay away from that mark. I'm going to have to put some in there. Now again on this one, there's a little bit of a break there. If you can see where those two leaves are kind of separated and then see here's the open mark. So I'm trying to remember. So let me put it here. So this is the sleeve. See how these two both go up at the same time. And you can kind of see that there's a little bit of a break there. So that's how that one lines up. Oh, it's this way. I really went upside down on that one, didn't I? There we go. And then let's get some leaves in there. So this stamp set, where I mean, this card, we're just using the stamps. We're focusing on the stamps. We're not using any of the extra the extra oh my gosh I don't have the one on the old olive on that one either so this is the old olive I have to remember that all right so on this I am going to just lay those stamps on top of one another because I do like I do like having them on separate blocks all right let's make sure there's no color on that one, no color on that one. So we're going to do and we'll just kind of come off here and we'll just do a leave all by itself. Do you notice how, I don't know if my Granny Apple Green. That has to be ranked. I have a lot of these. And maybe it's because it's moved. I moved it on the other side over by where my other counter is over there. That maybe I'm not getting. Maybe it's more dry over there. Because before it was closer to my window. So even though it wasn't directly in my window, it got some of the temperature fluctuations. All right. Go ahead and grab out. I always grab the same stamp and seal. So I decided I'm going to go ahead and do it differently. Remember, turn it upside down if you've just stamped it on there or put a piece of uh, copy paper because you don't want to transfer any of that ink possibly onto your stamped item like I did last week. You know what? I think, let me move that down. Even though this is Granny Apple Green, I think I could use this Parakeet Party. I think I could put some Parakeet Party on there. So let's just tank a length here. We'll wrap it around a few times. You know what? Let me do it this way. Sorry. That way I have my opposite ends. Snip off some of that longer part. Hold on. Hold on to this end. You don't want to do your bow out completely, so you make it a little smaller than you want it to be, and then you pull. All right, now I'm going to slip off those ends again. All right, so now 
you could put dimensionals on this, but I like making sure that that ribbon kind of stays in place. You want it to look fluid, but you don't want it to look fluid. You know what I'm saying? There you are. If you wanted to add a few rhinestones, you could. Of course, we have so many pretty ones from the current uh, mini catalog. But I like going back. Oh my goodness. I like going back to my old favorites from the annual catalog. These are the adhesive backed seasonal sequins. So these are from the annual catalog. Let's just go ahead. Put that one right. Oh no, I don't like that one color. I'm going to move that one over here. I'm going to put this one in the center there. There is a center dot for those flowers. Um, so I could put that if I want to, but I'm just going to leave it like that for now. So there's that. Put those back in that drawer. A lot of drawers open. So there's that one. Put my ribbon away in that drawer. All right. So there's that one. That one's based solely on just the stamps in that set, making that card. All right, and seeing how we're already at 16 minutes, let's, we will or won't actually, uh, let me finish my sentence. Maybe we won't actually complete the full card. All right, so you can do this one one of two ways. You could either do a strip here on that. Or you could do a full card. I think I'm going to do the full card. But again, four and a fourth would go, would be a full inside. I'm going to do four inches with my cutter. Make sure this is five and a half this way, which looks like it is. All right. So let's. Oh, not five and a fourth. Oh my lord, people want five and a half. So five and a half. So this is five and a half already. And then we're going to make this four. I'm so focused on layers. So. Oh my gosh. All right. I'm just leaving it this way. Look how pretty that is. Look how pretty that is. And this one just is a little off five and a half. There we go. So if we go all the way to the inside there. See how that's going to be like that. So we're going to go ahead and on this one, we're not going to stamp as much, but we are going to stamp the inside. Now, remember yesterday I was having trouble with the so much love. Remember how it was not doing so great. So what I did was I did go ahead and not only did I use my stays on uh, cleaner because it's a little stronger and it actually has a scrub pad on it. But then I also got out, I usually use the chamois. I also got my stamp and scrub and it seems like it's looking a lot better. So I'm going to do this one on the inside so you don't see it. So we're going to go do it on this inside and we don't want to see it. So I'm going to kind of angle it like that. We'll leave it like that. And let's go ahead and bring out that flirty flamingo again. Now that I've said that, I'm hoping that, um, that it stamps okay. Let me make sure. It's clean. There we go. Let me make sure I have my 
piercing mat under there. Remember, we want to angle it so it's like that. I don't care if I lose some of that M on the much. So much better. See, we don't have a lot of those uh, empty spots like we did yesterday when I was showing you it. All right, so we're going to put that all the way in, but we're also going to stamp a little here. All right. So let's go ahead and just do some flowers up and down. It's not quite clean. I'll use the stamp and scrub just because now I'm afraid. All right. You know, every once in a while, I treat myself to new stamp pads. I don't think it's that time of the year yet. Um, and I don't do it every year. I do reinkers a lot. For every once in a while, like after three or four years, you kind of just bite the bullet and buy all new stamp pads. That's probably why I have 120 or more stamp pads over the side. Well, I have more than that because I've, I've never sold any of my colors. So I have all of my retired colors, but I'm not going to do that right now because I'm thinking there might be a color revamp with this catalog. I don't know. It just seems like there's a lot of clues that that might be announced on March 1st for demonstrators. So we'll see. I'm just a little worried about that. All right. Again, here's the breaks. Here's that leaf goes right in that center. Here's the two breaks, that single leaf right in the center there. And you know what? I'm not even going to put in the green. Maybe we'll cut out. Oh, I do have some cutouts here. Oh, look at that. So for a little texture, we could put some leaves there. I was doing a lot of cutouts yesterday. All right, yeah, let's do that. Let's, oh, and I need my silicone mat. I'm not going to stamp all of those. It's silicone mat, so it only sticks to where you have it. Oh, that's the same way. So let's go like this. So we have different angles. And then. that glue right there. I'm not pushing it down yet. I'm going to go like that. Then I'm going to take my non, my dollar store adhesive scissors. Remember, I don't like using my snips when there's adhesive down. All right. Now, now I like that. Okay. So now we can go ahead and put this one down. I like actually folding that card, lining it up so I know it's going to lay down. Perfect. All right. And I'm going to end the video here because we are at almost 25 minutes, but um, you'll see that I'm going to go ahead and put some sort of um, maybe designer series paper there. Okay. Let me show you though some of the other examples I made. So here's this one we did today. Here's the other one we did today. 
move some of those leaves out of the way. So here's the other one we did today. Oh my gosh. Let me get a lot of this out of the way. It's all in the picture. It's so messy. All right. All right. So here, here's the two we just made. Let me show you a couple others I made yesterday. So this one is pretty much focusing on those cutouts. You can see I did just the two layers. I didn't do the three layers. So I did the two layers just on a basic white card base. This one, I did use the die and did the cutout. I know that looks a little messy there, but I don't, that doesn't worry me so much. But there you go, that one. And I realized after the fact that I probably should have embossed on this. So it had a little more texture in the front. But I just thought it was a nice little uh, way to add some dimension without adding too much dimension. So instead of mounting this on top of the cardstock where it would be even higher than these flowers, I just went ahead and did it on the inside. All right. So there you are, guys. Three portrait, one landscape, whole bunch of fun, fun designs. Forgot to score that on the back so it lays flat. My goodness, it's making me a liar. There we go. All right. Thanks for watching the video. Give me a thumbs up if you like some of these ideas. As always, give me a comment. Let me know what you want to see or what you think about it or suggestions. And also subscribe if you haven't. Share your, the video with your friends. Tell your friends about my channel. And I hope to see you for Watch It Wednesday. Um, have some things going on and possibly a trip to Arizona in two weeks. So I'm not sure how much I'm going to get done, but I'll let you know. But I hope to see you on Wednesday. If not, enjoy your time off and we'll see you when I'm on next. So that's a good reason to hit that bell so you get notified when I upload a new video. Thanks, guys, and have a great Sunday. Enjoy your weekend and be safe in the upcoming week.